Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yonit Arthur. I'm an audiologist and strength coach. I specialize in vestibular disorders. You are on my channel, The Steady Coach, where we talk almost exclusively about medically unexplained chronic dizziness. Now, if you're suffering from symptoms of chronic dizziness, you're in the right place. And in this video, I'm going to explain why you have these chronic symptoms that can't be explained. And we're going to review the basics of how you can get better because yes, your symptoms are treatable and you can fully recover from them. So if you're suffering from these kinds of symptoms, you may have been given some kind of medical diagnosis based only on your symptoms. In other words, you've had a lot of medical testing, imaging, and lab testing done, and in many cases, nothing was found wrong with you. So your physician or other healthcare professional may have said, I don't know, or that person may have given you one of the following diagnoses, triple PD, or persistent postural perceptual disorder, MDDS or mal de debarkmant syndrome, vestibular migraine, in some cases Meniere's disease if this was based on symptoms alone, chronic subjective dizziness, phobic vertigo, or many other names that are used all around the world and essentially mean you have long-term dizziness symptoms that we can't otherwise explain. And here on this channel, I refer to all these types of dizziness, all these diagnoses as neural circuit dizziness for reasons we're going to talk about in a minute. But first, I think it's very important for me to tell you upfront that your symptoms are 100% real. They are not psychological. They are not just anxiety. They are not just in your head. You don't need to just get over them or ignore them to get better. There's a reason you have them. We're gonna talk about that and you can get better from them, but they are real. Now, that said, they are a little bit different from most diseases that we think about. When we think about strep throat or a tumor, these are things that show up on laboratory imaging or medical testing and indicate that there's some kind of infection or tissue damage. Whereas for you guys, as we already discussed, in many cases, all of your test results are normal or your tests were maybe a little bit abnormal, but don't explain why you have long-term symptoms. In your case, unlike tumors or disease or other types of tissue damage, what's causing your symptoms is a circuit in your brain. And if you find that hard to believe, keep watching. So how can it be real? How can you have real symptoms and yet it not be caused by tissue damage or disease? So in order to understand this, I'm going to explain two concepts. The first is that our brain has a danger mode. In other words, our nervous system, when it detects threat, it changes the function of our body. You may also be familiar with this reaction as fight or flight. So if your brain, if your nervous system identifies a threat, it's going to prepare your body to get away from it. So whether that's in the form of jumping out of the way of a car or running away from a tiger, your brain has got your back. The thing that most people don't think about is that our brain can do the exact same thing in response to a thought or an emotion. If you don't believe me, just think about how it felt the last time you had to take a big test or give a big presentation. Maybe your palms got sweaty, maybe your heart rate increased, maybe your stomach bothered you or you felt a fluttering in your chest. 
These are all indications that your body went into fight or flight mode or danger mode, not in response to a tiger running after you, but in response to a perceived threat, an emotional and thought-based threat. So this is completely normal. The second concept you need to understand is that our brain is a prediction machine. In other words, our brain doesn't just respond every time something new happens to us. It bases its response on its previous experiences. And this is very simple to understand if you've ever touched a hot stove. You don't have to do it twice, right? And that's great because your brain wants to be efficient and protect you from burning your hand. So a prediction, your brain predicting that the stove can be hot is much more efficient than you having to learn that the stove is hot each time. So putting these two concepts together, the brain can go into danger mode based on outside stress or thoughts or emotions, and the brain can predict danger. Here's where it gets fun. Our brains sometimes make errors. And the famous story that's often told in pain literature is about the man who had a nail go through his boot and he was screaming in pain and they took him to the emergency room, they cut off the boot, and it turned out that the nail had gone between his toes and hadn't hurt him at all. He felt real pain, but this pain was based on an error, a prediction error in the brain. The brain thought he was in danger, it sent him a message of pain, but there was no tissue damage. So if you have neural circuit dizziness or any of the types of medically unexplained chronic dizziness we talked about at the beginning of this video, this is what's happening to you. Your brain is perceiving threat. It's in danger mode. It's making predictions that are incorrect about you being in a threatening situation, and it's making incorrect predictions about the information it's getting from your senses from your eyes, your ears, and your sense of touch, which are all components of your balance system. That's why so many of you have so many different symptoms. If you look around my channel, you'll see comments and you'll see videos on symptoms ranging from general dizziness to constant rocking and swaying, to heaviness, to neck pain, to head pain, to pressure, to jelly legs, to feeling like you're walking on marshmallows, to feeling like you're walking on a trampoline, to feeling like you can't focus your vision, like your vision's bouncing around, and more. And the reason that all of these symptoms exist is because the balance system uses input from three different sensory systems, and if your brain's not doing a good job with its predictions, you can have symptoms related to any one of those three senses. Not fun. So in other words, your dizziness symptoms, whichever they may be, are coming from a circuit in your brain that is making bad predictions. And that may seem really scary, but this is actually great news because if you do not have tissue damage or disease, a circuit can be changed. Our brains are highly adaptable through a process that many of you probably know as neuroplasticity. And what this means is that your brain can adapt to these kinds of changes and get you back to regular normal perception. So there are three components to how to recover from chronic dizziness. The first is education, and you're already doing that because when you understand where your dizziness is coming from, that dramatically decreases threat mode in your brain. And if you want to learn more, and I highly suggest you do, you can find a ton of more content on my channel about chronic dizziness symptoms. And I also have a completely free course. When I started this YouTube channel, I started to get comments from people all around the world, and not all of those people had resources to get help, so I made the course completely free. 
There are even translation instructions at the beginning of the course so you can interpret it into your language. And all of the videos are subtitled and can be watched through the YouTube app with the auto translation feature. So I invite you to sign up and I'll link to the course in the video description. The second component of getting better is handling stress coming from the outside and the inside. So outside stress sometimes needs to be addressed to get you out of danger mode. And sometimes our reactions to the symptoms themselves, our fear of the symptoms, needs to be addressed directly so we can bring our symptoms down via reducing danger mode. Again, I talk about this in so much depth in the free course, and there are tons of videos as well on my channel where you can learn more. So please use those resources. The third component is trying to get to the root of the emotional cause of threat mode. So this doesn't necessarily apply to everyone, but for some of you, emotions that aren't necessarily on the surface are what are leading your brain to be in danger mode in the first place. And the people who fall into this category sometimes are people who've gone through difficult or traumatic life experiences because the brain in a way of protecting itself will sometimes make the nervous system more sensitive as the result of the traumatic experience. And it's necessary sometimes to work backwards through that traumatic experience so danger mode can come back down. But not everyone's had traumatic experiences. Sometimes even just certain personality traits can predispose you to having this emotional threat mode in your body. And that can include traits like perfectionism, like people pleasing, like being the go-to person for everyone. And again, none of these traits are bad in any way, but they can increase the risk of you having an emotional component to your danger mode. I talk about this third component in the free course as well, and you're going to find some great content here on my YouTube channel that addresses it too. So I'm gonna link specifically to an interview that I did with Daniel Lyman, who's a psychotherapist, where we talked about this in more depth. So please consider checking that one out if you wanna learn more about the emotional components of threat mode. So this was a crash course in neural circuit dizziness. And if you're intimidated, please don't be. In my free course, I really break this down into step-by-step -step components. And all of the videos on this channel were made with you in mind to make things easy to understand and immediately actionable. You can fully recover. The condition that you have is treatable. It's actually completely normal for our bodies to have neural circuit conditions. This happens to everyone. It's just happened in a more extreme way for you, but you can get out of it. I hope that this video was helpful for you guys, and I look forward to hearing your questions and comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. Please share it please let me know that you found it helpful. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.